Hey everybody, this is SDKBoy1028. Just um, bring you another video. Um, so this video is on the iPhone, how to um, boot Android 2.2. Now I will be showing you what you need to do to install, and um, and then I'll show you how it boots. So uh, basically, this is Bootlace which you need to download you can only do it if you have a uh, jailbroken iPhone 2G and 3G let's see it says right there features installation of and removal of open iBoot installation of robot iDroid all these things compatibility see iPhone 2G and 3G you need to be jailbroken with Red Snow that tool or Black Rain so uh, yeah so all right so once once you are jailbroken you have Cydia <clears throat> you need to install the repo add the repo in Cydia uh, it's a uh, repo dot neon koala dot co dot uk again it's repo dot neon koala dot co.uk and once you add it <clears throat> uh, basically the only uh, the only program utility that will be there is bootlace so you install it <clears throat> after that the first time you open bootlace it will uh, download a kernel and, uh, and and flash it and then um, you have to reboot your device once that's done you open again bootlace and the first thing you're gonna do is go here to uh so you can see open to open iboot um and i already downloaded mine but mine would say yours would say download right here so you download <clears throat> once it finishes it finishes downloading this is what's gonna come up configure remove right so this is i have an iphone 2g so this is the the version that it downloaded me for and then you go to iDroid and it's gonna it would give you an option to download right here so I already downloaded it so I don't need to and uh, see I have Droid version 1.0.3 Android version 2.2.1 and I just downloaded it right now so once that's done um, you know you could uh, you have it ready to boot into Android also if uh, if there's an update for the Android version, you can always update here. If you don't want it, you just remove it here. Same with uh, Open iBoot, and then uh, you can go to configure right here on on this on Open iBoot to configure which one you want it to boot first. I have it on boot default OS, you know. Just you know, I don't really want to select just every, and you know, the Android is is you know I haven't tried it yet, but. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna try it out right now, see how it runs. If it runs good, maybe I might make it boot on Droid. But for right now, I just have it boot on default OS. So next step would be to click on Android. So once we've done that, once we've downloaded this, oops, sorry. Once we've downloaded this, and it's your screen's like this, and also uh, iDroid, and your screen's like this, you're ready to boot. So let's boot. Just click on the droid. It says, "Warning: This will reboot your device and to Android immediately." Are you sure? Yes. So let's get started. It's my first time booting, so I have no idea what's gonna happen. All right. So I have no idea what's gonna happen. So you know, I'm just as anxious as you guys, waiting for to see what happens. I I don't know how long it will take to boot. So you know, just waiting over here. <clears throat> um, yep. By the way, this is a eight gigabyte iPhone 2G. So you know. I think it'll work for any. Let's see. 
and uh, I believe this is um, one of the uh, one of the uh, newest versions of the Android for iPhone. And uh, let's see, oh, there you go. Let's take a look at that. It's booting. I believe this is one of the newest versions of Android for uh, the iPhone. Uh, 2.2. I believe they had 2.1. Not sure. So. Let's just wait for it to boot. <clears throat> Sorry about the shaky camera. I'm using my Touch Pro 2 to record. I don't really have a professional camera. Just waiting for this to boot. And uh, you know how Touch Pro 2 has a 3.2 megapixels. It's not really good, but it's not that bad either. So I'm trying to, you know. Let's just wait what happens. I don't know how long it will take, like I said. <clears throat> oh, and uh, <clears throat> when, um, when you're installing iDroid, <clears throat> um, when you're installing iDroid, it's well, it's gonna download iDroid. It's gonna take maybe about mm, seven minutes. It was a while. Oh, there we go. It's booting Android. So it took a while for me. And then it's after you download iDroid, it's gonna verify the files and then decompress. When it decompresses, it's gonna take a while too. And um, then it's gonna extract. That's gonna take a little bit too. But after it extracts and it does some some other little things, little quick things, you're gonna be ready to boot. So, you know, just be patient while it's downloading. And it is recommended. That's what I uh, read in RedmanPie.com. Uh, that's where I uh, found out about this Android um, on the iPhone. Uh, it's they said right there. It's recommended to download all the files. Or to do everything on Wi-Fi. So I was on Wi-Fi when I downloaded iDroid and iBoot and iLace. I mean, and, and uh, BootLace. I'm sorry. Um, so you know, it's recommended to do it better there and then on your 3G or 2G. <clears throat> so let's just wait. Android is booting. There we go. iDroid. And let's see. Well, I obviously don't have a SIM card installed. It's jailbroken and unlocked for T-Mobile, but I haven't installed one yet. So let's take a look at what we can do. All right. All right hold on, I'm trying to get a. Pretty good view over here. Alright, now I don't know if it froze or. Yeah, maybe it froze. Or maybe it's just loading the home screen, but. Uh, maybe it froze. I don't know. I think it might have frozen. Well, obviously we know it's not 6:57. It's 10:58 over here, but uh, must have frozen. Let's just wait. I guess my version froze. I might have to reboot and try it again. Um, let's see. I'll just wait till my time runs out. It's nine minutes already. Nine minutes and forty-five seconds. So, well, I guess my version froze. So hopefully you'll have better luck. So just uh, stay tuned for more videos and uh, yep, comment, rating, comment.